Okay, so let's look at an, an example problem, okay? Now, this is what I would consider to be a simple problem, but it's sufficient enough for us to learn Ansible with, okay? So we're gonna say that we have a, we're gonna pretend we have a fleet of 50 Linux servers, okay? We've got 50 Linux servers in AWS, Azure, Google, locally and on, on our network, wherever they are, you have 50 of them, okay? And what we need to do is we need to upgrade all the packages across every single server. We also need to upgrade the Linux kernel at the same time. We need to restart Nginx after we've done the upgrade of the operating system and the, and the packages. And then a system administrator actually recently left the organization. So at the same time, we also need to remove their SSH keys from the servers as well. What would a example solution look like to that problem? And how would we do it manually? Well, the first thing we would do is we'd get the IP address of the first server and then we'd SSH into that server. So then we'd upgrade the operating system. So we might do um, apt upgrade. Uh, that'll upgrade everything, the, the kernel, the packages that will run through. And that may take maybe say five minutes, six minutes to go through, depending on how many packages there were. Then we'd do something like restart. We'd restart the Nginx service. And then we'd remove the terminated employee by removing their account from the operating system. And although that sounds really quick and easy, right? Like the way I've just explained it was very quick and easy. But now go and do that 49 times. Do all of that manually 49 times. Because you've done it once, we've just done it once, but there are 50 servers. So now you've got to do it another 49 times. That's going to take some time, right? It's going to take a long time to do that 49 times. And you're going to make a mistake. You're going to forget to remove the user from one of the services. Uh, from one of the servers, you're going to forget to restart Nginx on one of them or you're only gonna upgrade the packages on one and forget to upgrade the kernel. Something's gonna go wrong in that process. It's gonna be mind numbing. And by about server, <laughs> server 15, you're gonna get really bored and you're gonna make a mistake, I guarantee it. Okay, so let's look at an example solution via Ansible. So what if we used Ansible to solve this problem? Okay, so we'd write a playbook. Playbooks are very small, a few lines of, a few lines of code to get a playbook up and running. We'd use the package module and we'd say upgrade everything and automatically say yes. So when you do apt upgrade, it says, hey, do you want to download and upgrade these packages? You say yes, it does that for you, automatically answers yes for you. Then we'd use the service module and we'd say restart the Nginx service. Then we'd use the user module and we'd say find a user with this name and remove them from the system and delete their home directory. So once you've written that playbook and from experience, I would say that would take you maybe about 10 to 15 minutes to get that playbook up and running. But once you've done that playbook, you would write an inventory file and you'd put the 50 IP addresses into that inventory file. And that can just be a copy paste, an IP address on each line and you're done, you've got them all. And then you do Ansible playbook and you'd execute that playbook that you've just written against the inventory file you've just written. And then you'd walk away from your desk and Ansible would go and connect to all 50 servers and do all of that for you. And it won't even do all 50 servers one at a time. It will do them, it will do five in parallel by default, straight off the bat. And you can actually increase that as well. So Ansible is gonna go and manage those servers in parallel for you. You can just get on with doing something else.